takes a lot of pressure. As far as pressure, I don't think he feels it. He certainly feels that pressure. He wants the ball when the game's on the line. Is he the best? We'll find out. The thing that separates them from him right now is they all want to stay championship. And Jared is a, a freak player. He's already fast, he's already strong. He's got all the attributes. This game is pressure. Yeah, it's pressure. 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 I watched him throw one of the balls I'm talking about. It was 40 yards on the line. There's a guy draping his hip, and he drops it right in the bucket. Jerry goes on a sweep, takes off down the sideline. There's two kids got an angle on him, and he just flat runs off and leaves. And we're all like, ooh. And all the people from the skeet that were there, they're all like, man, that white kid can run. Keeper around the right side will stretch, and he will make it for the goal line. Touchdown, Stephenville. Jackets take the lead back 13-10. Instead of in the pocket, goes across the middle, and it is caught. Darian Brown, D-Money with a touchdown. It doesn't matter. Score one point. Then busts to the outside. Stidham does. Gets on the corner and turns it. 35, 30, 25, 20. Pulling away. Jared Stidham, the exclamation point. They drop for Jared. Looking, going across the middle, and it's caught. Stuff will the touchdown. It's coming, going across the middle, and it's caught! Stephen Lee breaks away at the five! Does he get in? Yes! Touchdown, Stephenville! <sighs> to win today, I mean, there, there is a lot of pressure with me being one of the top quarterbacks in the country. People think, you know, that we got it in the bag. We made it to the semifinals last year, and, and most teams would be thrilled with that outcome. We were just ticked off about it. We expect to get to that higher level every single year. He is everything that everyone has tabbed him to be. He is the real deal. You can usually pick up within five minutes if the guy's got it or not, you know. And I watched him throw one of the balls I'm talking about. It was 40 yards on the line. There's a guy draping his hip, and he drops it right in the bucket with no arc into a north wind that's about 30 miles an hour, you know. And I just remember thinking, people don't know how hard that throw is. He can definitely play in the league. He was effortless in the way that he knew when to drive the ball, how to throw a whole shot. He can throw with his hips open. And out, all that's natural to him. He's never been taught that stuff. That's stuff that I didn't learn until I was first, second, third year in the league, you know? And then I'd go back and watch him film and say, oh, well, you, know, you know, I had a little bit of that. Jared's got all that. He's got a talent level that I think he, it has no ceiling. Basically, it's like the movie Friday Night Lights. The town closes down. Last person to leave, turn the lights out, everyone else is at the game. If Jared Stidham is quarterback in the state championship team, um, he'll, be, <laughs> uh, he'll be able to be elected mayor here. You might as well roll out the red carpet. He's gonna get treated like royalty. He will be looked at like he was a Peyton Manning, Tom Brady in Steamville, Texas. It's, it's just a big deal. I mean, that's what a lot of this just comes down to is just what people expect from us year in and year out. The main thing that makes Jarrett different is has nothing to do with football. He understands that the pressure is out there and, and he's got to realize that he's one of the best there, or in, the, in the state as far as what he does, but you would not know it by talking to him. I don't, I don't read the newspapers. I don't really read articles. I mean, I try to stay away from all the hype and everything like that. My big thing is always, you know, stay humble. As a true freshman making his first start at quarterback. It's an exciting moment for Baylor fans. Jared Stidham has got a huge amount of talent. Here's his first pass and his first. Leading the sixth team in the country, or whatever it was. I mean, nobody really knew what to expect. 
Just two games later against Oklahoma State, Stidham broke a bone in his ankle. His season was over, and by the next spring, so was his career at Baylor. Breaking news from Baylor, Art Bryles has been fired. The firing comes in the wake of a report into the school's response to alleged sexual assaults. Stidham left Baylor and enrolled at a school without football, McLennan Community College in Waco. And last season, this was his team, the Midway High School Panther. I said, do you mind if I come run, come run your scout team for the, for the varsity defense? He walked out there and had his helmet on. Our kids didn't even know who he was. And he starts throwing. And I mean, I, immediately you can tell that he throws it different than a, than a normal high school quarterback. It was a cool feeling just to be around a team again, regardless if these kids were, you know, 15, 16 years old. It's been a long ride. I mean, it's been a, it's been a long ride. The ride has taken Stidham here to a different state, different conference, different system, and an even bigger stage. didn't take 2,600 yards, or 12 games, or one Iron Bowl win for Jared Stidham to get here. 
it took a lot more. The journey, uh, gosh, it's been challenging. It's been really challenging. I think someone's going to get a steal in Jared Stidham. Please, please, somebody with a great quarterback, great. coach, and offensive coordinator, pick this kid up. Are we all playing? We're not playing. Yeah, we're, everyone's playing. All right, give me four. Quarterback from Auburn. We're gonna pick first. Hey, 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 hey! Turn down, turn down, turn down. Hello? Hey, what's going on? Yes, sir. How are you? Great. Hey, Jared. How you doing? It's Coach Walchuk. I'm good, Coach. How are you? Yes, sir. I really appreciate the opportunity. I can't wait to get up there and get to work. Likewise, we're looking forward to it. And with the 133rd pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, our six-time Super Bowl champion New England Patriots select... Jarrett Stidham, quarterback. this opportunity to go to the best team in the world to get to learn from, from Tom Brady. I couldn't have done any of this without the people behind me. It's a dream come true.